we should be streaming. Oh man. <sighs> Whew. There we go. Hello people. Especially those on YouTube. I'm back. I know. You probably thought, where's SPQR? Well, yesterday I was busy. <laughs> In all honesty, that's what's the tr that's the truth. I got busy. Um and didn't have, or I was doing a, getting ready for a test, and yeah, so because of that, no stream yesterday, but that's okay, because we've got a stream today, and what are we going to be doing this stream, you might be asking, well, we won a war with this gentleman again, but we can't tell 991, so we have to only one option, well, okay, we have no options apparently, but we need to take the rest of of Syria as we want the Persian Empire. So we need this. Oh, Aj, uh, sorry. It's Al Turkish uh, Sir, uh, Sultanate or Al Jazeera. That's the goal for today. We were ransoming people, getting people out of our dungeon, repaying loans to the Jews, and we have our men power down. So we're finally, you know, back to what we're doing. Uh, apparently there are duchies we can create, which is going to make us even more prestigious. Which is good, you know. Uh, 30th, yes. And yeah. So, here we are. Doing our normal stream. We are Shaha Surfrat. Well, we want to create a bloodline, but, you know, we've been uh, slowly working on that. Uh, we've built five castles, which not bad, given our situation. We have our w lovely wife. We have our heir, who is Jahan Gir. It was going to be Tren, but, of course, Tren, being the child he is, decided to go off and conquer Lombardy and convert to Christian Christianity or Catholicism. Because of that, we had to kill his son. And, yeah. So, that's that's your, that's the whole thing that happened. Alright, what's one we just created? This one. And, now we have Shah Jahangir. He's a good diplomat, which is good. That'll help. That's all he's really good at. So, when he rules, well, he has no son, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. We're going to, oh, we have a court eunuch. Um, what? Oh, we need a new advisor. Uh, yeah, you. We've done pretty well for ourselves. Overall, we have some claims we need to push. Um, lands we need to take. Ooh, a Shia Caliph. Cool. We gotta wait till this man dies. Hopefully soon, rather than later. Because I would like Surfret to be the one who manages to finally get the, uh, um, Persian Empire. But we'll see. He may not end up with it. Our vassals are... Somewhat angry with us because of the levy thing, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue sooner than later. We do have, I think, a grandson somewhere who is ruling. Um, and daughters who have all been married off. Um, I mean, I'll read it, but that's fine. Oh, man. Wait, you. Wait, why are you... Buddhist. Can you not just have a normal daughter? No. Alright. And here's the bloodline. The sword uh, of Ahura Mazda. Shahan Shaha Surfrat 86 has become notorious for his staunch approach towards religion all throughout Karen, the Karen Empire. 
At the head of an endless host of inquisitors and overseers, he has slowly replaced all the most peaceful members of the clergy with his re within his realm with uncompromising fanatics. With, the help, with this, their help, he has taken upon himself the holy task of cleansing heretical inclinations from, uh, from his subjects. Boom. We are now known throughout the world for our amazing bloodline. Oh, I need to sneeze. <laughs> ah. Okay. Wah. So, culture and technology speed spread rate minus three percent, which does suck. Monthly piety, a little extra. Uh, court chaplain converts counties faster. Can call religious liberation wars, which is nice. Now. We've been slowly converting our way around, which has been nice. Um, now, to create the Great Persian Empire, there's actually more to it than what you're expecting. But our main goal now is to beat this young man back, Samrat Anahila II of the Parthian Empire, or Prathithra Empire. Of course, we don't have enough manpower to beat him yet. Which is unfortunate. We do wish to build a war chest. Honestly, at this point, I say we continue east. We have all of our holy sites. And now the only thing we're missing at this point to become this is the uh, emperor of Persia. And then we need like all the territories. This, I just need um, the empire. Which is the main thing for the restore of the priesthood. So we need this man to die. I'm probably not going to have any more children anytime soon, which is unfortunate, as there are no women. I mean, we can try, but no matter what, since Tren basically decided to go off and do his own thing, we cannot do anything there. Now, for our realm, or for our inheritance, it would be nice to do ultimate geniture next time. But I've already changed succession laws, so we can't do that. Um, yeah, so we just gotta kind of chill out for right now. That was a pretty massive war, too, to be fair. Now, once this man dies, we'll be up. Oh, perfect. Time for a war. 13k. Our vassals are still pretty ang angry. But if we can take. I do another great conquest. No, I cannot. We can holy war him. So what's the duchy up here? Mosul. We could take Mosul off of him, and I think that would give us enough to maybe create the Persian Empire. So we're going to try. I mean, we could do this. Uh, do do do. We'll be liberated, as and the ruler will become a tributary. See, I, they're not gonna become my vassal, which is unfortunate. We could claim the Arabian Empire for this guy, but we don't want an empire title under us because that would just cause us a bunch of issues. So we want Mosul for the most part, but it's only three counties, which does kind of suck. We don't really have a choice. And then once we've taken that, we can go after the Byzantine Emperor and his territories. We will call Tren into the uh, war, because why not? We are going to call all of our vassals in, because that's just 16k troops. And we're just going to take most of them. And we're going to siege the capital here. We're going to grab you guys, do the same. Now we shouldn't have it. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, trends really have no help to us right now, so I really don't care that he's uh, doing whatever he's doing. Um, we're going to put our best commanders in charge here. And hopefully catch the Shah. 
That would be the goal here. I'd like to catch the shot or some of his family members so that way we can basically take them out early. But we'll see how quickly this goes. God damn it. A jihad for Persia. And that's you mainly, right? Oh no. Wait, where are you? You have one county all the way over there. Okay. I'm just going to send Tren's army here. If Tren can take these guys out, we'll be good. Alright. Because I don't really actually need him in this war. But it would be nice to get rid of the Shah here. Who has, like, no one on his side. Alright. We're still waiting on some more men, so let's continue to siege this down. Uh, where are all these guys? Okay. In fact, actually, let's take all these men and start heading over here instead. And let's go start sieging down his capital. I could raise the Chinese honor guard. Really isn't a reason to. Um, someone's sieging. Oh, you are sieging me. Well, you're about to just get your ass whooped here. Oh, we built a war chest. Cool. Because even with his bonus at this point, the religion's been weakened so much. There's very little we actually need to worry about. Now, I am going to fall back so I can go help out with this. Kill this army out. Alright. Because we do want to make sure to wipe his army. I don't want to get too cocky by, you know, not defeating these armies. There's no reason we shouldn't. Um, we are making good money right now, and so, killing these guys just makes sense. Alright, you want to go up there? That's fine. Let's kill him if we can catch him. Okay, we're going to catch him in the mountains, which is good, and then we'll go down here and beat this 2500 stack. Sweet, some daughter did well, great. 41, nice. And then the big thing will be really just going after um, the Byzantines the best we can. I mean, of course, after our vassal levies have been down for a while. Uh, let's see if we can catch him. There we go. There's another. Oh, well, that war's over. Thank you. Even more gold, which is always good for us. Um, we do want to try and siege this down quickly. Okay. Because at this point, the guy's lost. There's not much he can do against me. So let's just get this war over with, right? Yo, what's going on? How are you doing, Rochambeau? Alright. Let's finish this war off. Unless this guy's willing to take peace, please take peace. No, of course not. Dude, I've got like half your children captured. What are you going to do to me? Honestly. 3, 2, 1. 100% perfect. Okay. Is that enough to create Persia? Damn it. We're close. We are very close. It's honestly just because we have to take these parts. I don't see any other... Oh, and then this chunk. But we're not taking on those... The Indian Empire yet. Ah, my nose. Alright, we're going to do five years apiece. Just to let our vassal men... Be relaxed and rested. We've already taken on the Shia. Easy win. And yeah. Ah, man, my nose. I tell you, allergies are kicking my butt today. Alright, and then let's get rid of these, and then grant this to someone else. Um, you are captured, I guess. Um, I have a brother far off. Let's just give it to one of our commanders for right now. Um, ba -ba -ba. I have you. Perfect. Grant land. Uh, there. 
Now, this is part of its own kingdom, I assume. Yep, it is. We have the House of Wisdom under us now? Wow. That's helpful. <laughs> um, huh. Let's see. I don't know what to put in the last one. Extra tax modifier might be a good one. Uh, I like that idea. Let's build that. All right, and then back to what we are doing. Oh man, it's just a good day today, I tell you. Just a good day. Nice day to relax, chill out, not have too much to do. I'm just waiting on a message back from my group or my team leader for my last class assignment, and we're done. So nice. Oh, and let's see. Let's upgrade our Silk Road post thing. There we go. Make our gold even more. But yeah. How you doing, Rochambeau? Anything interesting been going on for you? You been enjoying life? So how many troops do we have in total? Oh, damn it. Raiders. Um, okay, so I have 17k, so I'll be at 20k. I would still like to rebirth the Zeresian Empire, or the Persian Empire first before fighting these guys, but I may not have a choice. I'll wait till they're in the middle of another war. And when my vassals aren't upset. Whoa, Jesus, hello. Uh, why don't you matrilineally marry someone at this point? I don't even know if you can have children. Um, sure. We'll see if she can give birth to a child at this point that will uh, work with the family. Alright, special interaction. Nope. Oh, I should be ransoming back all of our prisoners at this point. Make some money off of them. Yeah, there we go. Even more cash. Perfect. That's what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Oh, and we can go to war with the Abbasid again, because the kid, the guy died. Ooh, that's tempting, actually. Alright, let's ransom these people off. Okay, and if there's no one else, then... We're just going to kill the rest. Alright, the Abbas is dead. He's... Oh. Alright. We can go for another war with him. <laughs> um, Alright, let's take Mundar. Yeah, if we can take Mudar as well, uh, that'll give us another chunk oh, of territory off of him. He's already at war with him for Korzaton, which is good, so that'll help us out. We have the troop count, so let's go for Mudar. Council's against this. What's the issue here? Shah Jahangir. Uh, Satrap. Uh, Bagrat the Bear. Wait. Okay, so you're paying one to Bagrat the Bear. Wait, who is Bagrat the Bear? Yeah, neither of these guys are... Wait, um... Oh, it's you. Oh, of course it's you. God damn it. If I buy it, can... I can't even buy a favor off you. You know what? Just for the... I know it's going to give us tyranny. But it's really just too good to pass up at this point. We need the war. Everyone come or come to his capital. Attack his capital. All of you onto the capital. You lot as well. You lot as well. Get down here. All right, perfect. We want him down and defeated before we die. Um, oh, seek treatment for illness, please. Yes. Please help me. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Oh, good. Cancer. That's that's what we need. 
Come on, man. Please don't kill me. Okay, well, I'll take severely injured. Ooh, we got Han Arm Protector. Nice. So we have... Alright, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's get our better commanders in here to hopefully see just down a little quicker. Alright, someone has ousted a favor from us. That's fine. Oh, we got a rebellion of Jews coming. Oh. Who conquered this? That was you? Alright, we are going to grant you the title of this. Shah of T Transoxian. Yeah, there you go, kid. Um, that duchy. I'm going to grant it to you. Even though I think you're probably going to lose it almost immediately. Wow, kid. Alright. You know what? You did good. Let's continue to attack this guy. Okay, 29%. Take his capital out as quickly as possible. 2-1. There we go. 47% or 42%. Alright, and take the rest of the army and head them off this way. What's the issue? I mean, you guys are going to want to increase council power no matter what I do, so. Alright. Let's go kill this guy as quickly as possible. Come join this war. Alright, perfect. We're gonna knock this guy down. Oh, cool. Some war ended. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> oh, man. I've become so focused at this point in trying to get this achievement. I'm, like, so close. Right on the cusp. Alright. There we go. We've gotten that down. 11 days. Come on. What's the problem? Okay, we don't care about you, and we don't care about you at this point. And there's 100%. We can usurp that. Is it still not enough to create this? Damn, 72. Yeah, we're going to have to go to war with him. Is there nowhere else I can take? No. It is really just the Byzantines in this. Cap. Hmm. All right, let's get rid of these lands. Um, and I'm actually going to grant this to. Wait, I hold. Oh, um, you. There we go. Um, let's grant this. Do I have the duchy here, Mudar? Yeah, I do. Oh no, I don't. Okay, that's interesting. So I do not hold this duchy. Um, so let's just grant the, split the territories um, between. Okay, so that's under you. Uh, sure. Why? Right. Okay. You know what? Grant you whatever I just created. Boom. That'll make you happier. Um, let us grant these to our top kings to keep them happy rank please all right we're gonna grant you um hawk something whatever that is hakasaka boom we're gonna grant you albici albici birchi bitri including lower titles and then rahaba is gonna be granted to you Okay, perfect. So each of them get a piece of land over here. Which gives them more reason to attack. So, which is what I'm actually hoping for. And, I mean, we can create the duchy, but I'm not going to. Because it would be, you know, basically pointless. 
Um, yeah, I think I know who you can replace. So, yep, that's fine. My daughter was killed by who? Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's ransom you out. I don't care. Um, let's see. We've got plenty of cash, but I want to hold on to it for this dangerous faction situation. They're mostly upset because of the vassal levies, but that's okay. Where are you? Gazna. Gazna, you are part of his lands. You know what? I'm going to transfer your vassalage then. Um, under him. Now, what's the kingdom up here? Ogas. Okay, so we haven't created that yet. Alright, that's fine. Alright, the Karen grows stronger. Much stronger. <sighs> okay. Some more territories are getting taken off, which is nice. We're seeing a lot more territories get eaten by my vassals, which is kind of what we want, to be honest. Um, and then once our vassals have calmed down a bit, we'll, uh, go ahead and start doing things again. Um, go ahead and do that. Do we get how many? Just one? Cool. We can build that castle. Perfect. And that'll give us another piece of territory. I'm going to continue to build up our trade post here to bring in more money. Um, because it's not too bad of an expansion or expense, so... Where my vassals are creating titles and warring with each other. Who's at war with you right now? So he's still at war with you for that holy war. And he's actually winning. Wow. That's good to see. I want to see this war go in his favor. I think the bigger issue is definitely going to be the Indian Empire. Oh no, we finally died. Alright, Shahan. Shah Surfret 86 has ascended to heaven at the age 86. He died of an infected wound. Having been uh, horribly disfigured, Sir Fry 86 spent his last years unable to show his face in public. Death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. That's fair. Shahan uh Jahangir, a renowned man, dignitaries from far and wide will surely bow before him. Long live Shahan uh, Shah Jahangir. Alright. We have managed to do something. Or we have taken the throne from our father. We hold lands we don't want. And I think I'm just going to grant this to the king over here. Yeah, I think so. And he can have Kabul as well. Grant this land because we don't want it. Honestly, there's no reason for us to keep it. We've got our nice pieces of territory over here. We do have some claims. There's no reason for us to worry about them, though. Um, we do need a new de or a court physician. We do need to get some of these titles filled in. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, is appointed to the commander of the Royal Guard. Okay. And keeper of tomes. Best educated man shall get it. Perfect. And then we need to assign our council for our advisors. Definitely you. We did groom an heir. Uh, we will renounce our secret faith. Yes, I don't want that faith. Um, we can become a paragon of virtue. That's fine. Our son is three years old. He's done well for himself. We've got a few children, which is good. We've got another surf rat. We've got Mana. I don't know what, who you're named after, but that's okay. We've married into the realm the best we can, which is good for us. Um, we do want to keep our vassals loyal in, through marriage. Um, so we'll keep that going. And yeah. We'll perform a sky burial. We can apparently do it twice. Um, spare no expense. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, leaves there of Tengri. That's fine. Ruby earrings. Yes. And now we must make sure 
that our priests are doing their job by converting as much territory as possible. Um, I want, yeah, charitable lead, nice. So, the big thing for us now, we have very low manpower, which is not a good thing. But, we can build that up, and we do have plenty of money. So, he's got 27k troops. We've just got to wait for him to get into a war. Um, and then we can definitely start expanding some more. I mean, we're still waiting to create... Uh, we can read it, sure. Uh, why am I... Yeah, I don't care. Uh, reading, yeah. Alright, so... No, I'm good. God damn, so much is going on. Oh, you're one of my concubines? Well then, if you're gonna sleep with other men, then you can be set aside. So, yeah, like, the main thing at this point is we need to continue our conquest over here. You are part of my du jour empire, so... Can I stop mock... Yeah, I've been apparently... Yeah, this is beneath me. Um, the other option is to go after the Byzantine Empire, who's even scarier. <laughs> so, we have India, or we have the Byzantines. And I don't have an alliance, I don't think, with my brother. Yeah, and he doesn't want it. So, which is an unfortunate thing. And he has no heir, so we're going to end up inheriting Italy, which is going to be, like, terrible. So... We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. We're going to let this war play out. Um, he's fighting two of our Shahs right now, which is good for us. Um, in both cases, he is losing um, to both of them. So it's almost over. And then he's also fighting a war against this man, which he is also, I think, losing. Yep. So we're going to let some of these wars play out, kind of sit back and watch. And call that good. Well, there's another one. Okay. Well, I can create that duchy. Boom. Grantland. Mufasa. Boom. There you go, buddy. Um, a lot of people want me dead. Makes sense. But we haven't gotten to the point where we can do... The Reformation of the uh, Persian Empire. We're at 72%. So we need to either take the Byzantines out for these three territories, which we could do. It'd probably be easier to do that than to go after um, the, the Indians. I mean, they don't gain anything. But they have a lot of men. And he's got a lot of wealth, 469. On the opposite side, this guy's got 2,164 gold. So, you know, the, the options are weighing here. Uh, we have a rebellion somewhere. Oh, all the way up there. How many men do you have over here? Only 1,000. How many men do you have? 494. Wow, you're at 1,000 troops. That's interesting. Um, how many troops do you have? So we have 1,500. Alright, let's gather these men together. And go and attack this rebellion. We're going to get some more prestige from the stars moving. We already have plenty of children, but... Uh, so if our concubines aren't anything decent, I'm just going to set them aside. There isn't really a reason to keep them at this point. Okay, another title has been usurped. Uh, oh, you usurped it from him. Oh, okay, I don't care. Alright. We're waiting until this castle's built for the nomad agitation to go away. We are almost at that Persian Empire thing, so it's really going to come down to uh, some issues. Uh, we've got another rebellion over there that we're going to have to deal with here in a moment. But I think for right now, the main thing is let the realm settle. Uh, let's see where we can get to with this, and then continue our expansion against probably the Indian Empire, most likely. 
So, oh, I inherited something. Let me grant that to whoever your liege lord is. Grant land, that barony. Boom. All right, so we got rid of that, which helps because now we don't have to worry about it as much. We're getting some good tech points, which is also nice. Um, getting some more construction might be very valuable to us. Also, increasing up our light cav attack would be good. Um, yeah, okay. Then we're going to go attack this rebellion next. We had another daughter. I am going to set my last concubine aside again. Not really a reason to keep her. Um, and we mainly need to focus on our heir. Um, yeah, go ahead and replace him as commander. That's fine. Uh, do, 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 yeah, that's fine if we get facts. We're never going to be in battle. I should make that very clear. We are not a warrior. There's no reason for us to be in a battle. All right, our wife wants us in shape. That's fine. <laughs> Normal days, you know. That's how it just goes. So, we're going to build up our territories as much as we can. Um, there's no reason not to. Let's disband these armies. Um, and continue to increase our trade post. Because that's one of the bigger things for us, is we need the income coming from it. Um, we can't build any more, I don't think. Because there should be already trade posts in a lot of the areas where we would normally grab them. That one's there. Yeah, they've got a lot over here. It looks like oh, we don't get any of them. Damn. Yeah, these are all theirs. So, I'm definitely thinking going after the Indian Empire would be our best bet at this point. Um, we don't really have a choice in the matter, in my opinion. Just because of the fact that it'll be easier to kill them than it will be to kill um, <laughs> anybody else. Um, so... We're going to let our manpower build up. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. As much as possible. So we're at 23k, roughly. Now that our vassals are no longer angry with us. Oh, you don't want to be a spy master. Let me make you a merchant, because at the very least, if you're a merchant, that'll make good money. Um, yeah, trained by you. Okay. So you have 683 gold. We need you to get involved in another war. Like, that's the big thing. Once they're in another war, we can go after them. Although, they do take a while to get together. It might be possible. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, I'll let him deal with him in a moment so i think we're gonna do that we're gonna save up our troops at this point where are you going oh you're going over there and or save up our money let our troops build up and then we're gonna fade india because i don't think i mean attacking him there's nothing left here that's part of persia that we what we need um as far as since i created this custom empire like there's no Nothing over there. It's all basically here. So if we can take Sistan, it gives us three more territories. And I think that'll put us right at what we need. So I think we go to war with them. I'm going to say we're doing it now. Oh, we can do a great... Why are you guys against this? Oh, because you're against this. Oh, because you're mad. Okay, let me pay you some gold. Will that change your voting habits now? Oh, wait, where'd he go? He's, okay, so he's a pragmatist now. All right, good. So, he's still <laughs> against. Because <laughs> uh, we could go after Sistan. Oh, he is for it. Why can't I? I need a prestige equal to 3,000. 
and a piety equal to 1500. Okay. So let's wait till we get the prestige. There are easy ways to do this. Um, let's hold a grand tournament. That will get me some prestige. Uh, can we do anything else? We can compose a book for some reason. We might do that to bring up our piety as well. Uh, let's do that. Let's get both those going as quickly as possible. Build up our prestige because we need double the prestige we have now. Although it shouldn't be too much of an issue to do so. All right. Uh, and fought hard he did. That is true. Let's see. A glorious event. Prosperity's increased. Oh, it didn't give me more prestige. I thought it would. Okay, well, we'll get that going. Um, we can hold this. I don't know what this is, but sure. Send out the invitations for whatever that is. Uh, I will also gather a camel thorn for the fire. That's more learning would be really good. Yeah, let's get actually the piety right now. Um, let's do that one. All right. So we're doing this, doing a celebration. We're writing a book that'll hopefully uh, help us out. 200 prestige and some more piety. That's good. So now at this point, we just need more piety and prestige and we should be fine. Um, I can tame these numbers. Yep. Let's. You're a rebel. We actually don't need a chancellor all that bad. So let's put you on the council. If I could just get you to stop being pragmatic, that would help. Uh, I must persist. Let's gain diligent. We're trying to become a really good um, overall leader here. But we also need to get that piety and prestige going. So it probably wouldn't hurt us to start finding a smith. But we're not the type of character who needs like items. So given our kind of background... All right, you're fighting him. Sure, okay. Um, we can send you a eunuch. Both those are really good commanders. I'm good. We do have a child that needs education. Uh, sure, we'll teach you to be a faithful person. Why not? Can't hurt. Um, go ahead and educate under him. Okay. Um... I mean, creating you would get us more prestige. Uh, you already have 100 with us. You have 68, and you have 100. So let's give this to you. Oops. Even if he breaks it immediately, that's fine. It um, gains us prestige, which is actually what I want. Um, okay, we're gaining... More information, which is good for us. You've usurped a title from someone. That's okay. We do have people raiding in our lands, which is a bit annoying. So I'm going to actually grab my man, uh, my full manpower and attack him. Let's get over there, boys. Get over there before he dies. Oh, well, too late. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of these raiders as quickly as possible. It gives us a bit more prestige, which is always a good thing to have. Let's start heading over here to attack these guys. Um, we do have a daughter that's coming of age, which is great. I'm going to marry her off immediately. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to do a matrilineal marriage. Act No, we have plenty of sons. Um, I'm going to accept from you because that'll give us a really good, that'll give us a marriage tie with them, which is useful. So let's do that. Attack these guys the best you can. God damn, they're horses. Jesus, these raiders are a problem. We got beaten? Wow. I, oh, oh no, we won. Oh, okay. 
Um, good. I've got pox, and I've been turned into a eunuch. Actually, I'm happy about that, because being a eunuch means I don't have to deal with anything else. Um... What is this? Hmm. Why can't I join you? Oh, you have to be a member of Bone. That might be a fun one to mess around with later. Uh, the Bone Religion. Um, alright, and all those guys have left, so that's perfect. Our vassals are still calming down, so we do want to take some time and let them go. Um... I will gain the Scholar title. Because that's going to help us out with getting that up. Sure, we'll start reading poetry. That'll help. Call for my court physician. Uh, okay, apparently we're going to become a something else. Uh, or a poet. So that's cool. Our designated regent is you. Our new marshal. No, you're going to train our troops up here. What's going on? Okay. We're gaining more tech, which is good for us right now. We're making good money right now. So while we wait before we get all of our stuff built, let's start constructing things. Um, more castle towns to bring up our income would be our best bet at the current moment. And then building up our keeps would be a good one, too. Um, let's do fortifications here, just to get that built up. Oh, trend is online, cool. Because we're only making 29 gold a month, um, we need to fix that, so... Oh, our wife died. That's unfortunate. We can't marry, so that's even more unfortunate. We've become a falconer, yes. We wanted that, um, oh. We gain more territory. Oh, we can't usurp it right now. But that's nice. We're getting bigger. I mean, Karen is now a mighty empire. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <sighs> yeah, not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Um, Can you, like, figure out your shit, man? Like, seriously. I get you don't like me necessarily, but... Can, oh, here, we'll demand your religious uh, change. That might help. There you go. All right. Um, let's continue your education as a warrior. I'm actually, depending on how you come out, I might legitimize the kid and make him our heir because he seems like a better person overall. Um, let's continue boosting our economy, which is something that's helping us out right now. Um, we still have our trade post, so that's going to keep doing what it's needing to do. At this point, I don't see a reason to pick in a fight with the Abbasid anymore, but if the Byzantines go into rebellion, um, we might consider going after them here soon. Uh, we need a new court chaplain. Let's make that you. And start converting these territories, because I want these big splotches of land taken care of, man. Come on now. Okay. Um, alright, one of my daughters needs to be educated, that's fine. Assign her guardian as one of our vassals, who doesn't like us as much. There you go. Actually, in fact, oh, she's already betrothed. I was about to say it'd be good to marry her into our family, but that's fine. Not a big issue. Okay. So we still need 1,500 and piety and... 3,000 prestige. We're working our way towards it um, right now anyways, so we've got some time on this one. Let's educate you. Assign your guardianship to the strongest guy out there, the Shah of Iraq. Perfect. He's done well for himself conquering a lot of the Abbasids, so I am tempted to actually transfer his vas the vassalage of this vassal, but I am currently using him as a commander, so... All right, we have lost someone. Excellent news. More money. Another new priest. Continue convert. Cool. Yeah, we just need to get our money up a lot, and then we should be fine. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can honestly do at this point that will raise our prestige all that much. So, 
besides getting items and weapons and such. All right, cool. She's come of age, which is great. Let's let our wealth build up for a bit. Because we definitely need cash. Let our vassals continue their wars. The Abbasid is currently fighting off um, a Turkish invasion of Nubia, which is interesting. Um, God, I want to be able to create this today. I'm hoping, guys. I'm hoping we can create this today. Oh, and I can switch over now to... I'm going to... Well, let's go to theology. Because if we do that, we can do some of the religious stuff. We need the 1500 anyways, so... This will give us even more piety. Um, yeah, piety from vassals and technology. Yeah, so that'll help out a lot. Um, I would like to boost this up again. All right, we went from 27, 25. Let's see, what are we at by the end of the month? 28.59, not bad. We're getting there. Um... This gives us more city tax and temple tax, so let's level that up. Uh, let's go with the religious one and get the popular customs. Uh, yeah, let's get kind. That's actually really useful for us because we're not the warrior. Um, so because of that, oh, you would be a better heir. Who are you? My nephew, my daughter. Oh, man. Um, let's educate you assign you to sure her I don't really care at this point um, so I have supporters in this so let's do the marginal status of women that'll help us out a bit by getting that in oh good we've got food poisoning fantastic oh and you've disfigured me because of it all right perfect so the marginal status of women has been changed um, so we've got that as Agnatic Cognatic. I'm fine with our current situation as our heir. I mean, he's not great. He's not terrible, but he's not great. Oh, he doesn't have a educator at this point. Um, you. And he's doing really well as well. We'll see what he comes... He is a lunatic. But if he gains enough, like, fighting uh, or martial, then we might make him our heir. Um, no, let's, yeah, we want Zealot, that'll help us out, we need that 1500 piety still, we're working towards it, because if I'm going to do a great conquest against you, yeah, it's going to be, what do I need, I'm just looking, we need, yeah, 1500 piety and 3000 prestige, we're almost to 3000 prestige, so, um, let's go ahead and spend some gold and get a, some regalia, make ourselves a true emperor at this point. And maybe that'll help with our prestige and piety quicker. At least that's my thinking. Um, yep. One shall not uh, be indisputable. Okay, let's go with that even if we lose some gold. That's fine. Some people are usurping titles, which is good. What do you want? I will accept this marriage. Um, all right, we gained some good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and educate you as well. Another one of my daughters, I'm going to assign her guardian to one of our mini kings. Doesn't really matter who gets her. Um, so you've been wed off to one of our vassals, which is good. How are you doing? You're at 14, not bad. You've already been wed. I'm now scarred, which is good, because that's gone. Um, so what is our regalia get us? Heavenly circlet. Uh, extra prestige, which is good. Extra prestige. Okay, it's not what I was hoping for, for piety. But that's fine. I was really hoping to gain something that gave me piety, but, I mean, there's not much we can do. Other than sit back and try and gain as much as possible here. Um, okay. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to take a quick break and run to the restroom. I'll be right back, guys. Un momento.
back. Hopefully, we do not still inherit Trend's kingdom. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to, like, smack you with the stomach here. Alright. Oops. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're back. Yeah, so, I don't know if we're still Trend's heir. Oh, wait. Nope. My son is his heir. Uh, I don't like that. God damn it. Let's see. We've got our child is still educating under that. So let's keep him going. Yeah, it's going to come down to what his martial ability is when he get when he finally comes of age. You're welcome to marry. We have a child that needs to be educated. Sure. Assign your guardian to one of our kings. Did that make him happier? No, it does. Yep, it does. Okay. Well, I don't know if that could have been the marriage tie. Oops. Yes, I know. Thank you. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Alright, I will dedicate myself to these readings. Yes. Anything to get that 1500 piety before we die. Oh, uh, we need a new designated regent. That's fine. And we're actually going to make... Oh, you're really good spy master. So is he though. Um, yeah, there's no one better than him right now. Although there is a better. Oh no, there's no marshal. What about the Shah of Iraq? What's he doing? I guess he must be one of my advisors already. Yeah, he is an advisor. All right, that's fine. Oh, the sacred texts illuminate me! Yay! Okay, now we can um, go ahead and create this duchy real quick because someone decided to destroy it, so that's fine. Let's just create that. Boom, grant that to you. Since you have the majority of it, that'll work well. Uh, we're at 3,000 prestige, which is great, but we still need 1,500 piety. So, once we have gained that... We will be able to declare our great conquest of Sistan. We just need the piety. Um, when can I do this? The month is greater or equal to September. Okay. Because that will give us another easy 100 piety. So we definitely want to do this. Um, okay. Okay. Some rebellions going on. Do I have to be at peace? Yes, I do. God damn it. Where's the rebellion? Oh, man. Let's see. All the way over there. Of course it is. You have 1,500 troops, though. So we can get this. Oh, no. Let's not attack them straight out because we'll lose that fight. Oh, you're Craven. Let's not have you leading troops. Oh, yeah. How did you... Tr oh, you haven't come of age yet. All right, you're a craven and a coward. No, thank you. You will not lead this country. All right, let's attack him. Hopefully we do well enough to, you know, do something here. How many troops do you have? Another 450? Yeah, let's get you both here. All right, this is going to be a harder fight because, oh, God damn it, seriously. I don't need you peasants rebelling right now. Where are you rebelling now? Come on, get there. Uh, another prestige. Yep, there we go. Where's this rebellion at? Down here? Nope. All the way up there. And they're attacking them. Oh. Uh, you have 4,000 troops here. And you have 19,000 troops. Nope, come together and let's uh, deal with this kid. Let's just go up here together. Uh, yeah, seclude myself. That's fine. Good. Uh, let's put our best commanders in charge. Okay. Uh, Alright. More piety. Always good. 
You're attacking my stuff over there, I guess. Should have expected that. All right, we're getting up there, boys. Which is what we want to see. We want to get this great conquest underway. Although we do need to save up our wealth now. Now is the time to make money. All right. Uh, our vassals are at 21k. We're at 24k in total. He is at 28, but he is at war right now. So if we can get this sooner rather than later, that'll help. Uh, you can finish your education. All right. Um, arranging a betrothal between you and... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's do your sister here. You'll gain them a lot of prestige and piety for it, so why not? Mm. All right, we just gotta wait till September comes around, then we can do the thing again. More prestige, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Send out the invitations. We need the 1500 piety. More learning, more pi health, more piety. Um, you will be our new steward even though you suck at the job. It's just because I need you to be happy with me. We don't want anybody rebelling at this point, so... So we're getting ready for a war. There's another 100 piety, so we're only 100 away. Hopefully we can get it sooner than later. Ooh, you declare... Oh, you guys are going into the... Uh, Silk Road... Okay, well, that's fine. As long as it doesn't affect me, I don't really care. Um, I can send you a eunuch. How about my son? Oh, he's only got a 39. Well, I'll get rid of him at least. Um, anything can get rid of that kid. Our common interest binds us together. That's fine. Hopefully, you'll turn out decent as a merchant. We do have another child that needs education. Uh, she, wow, she's a warrior too. Jesus, so many, so many warriors in this family. All right, um, let's give her to him. Okay, 1435, just need a little bit more. Can I do one of those every year? No, I can't. Uh... Um, what if I release you? Doesn't gain me anything. Okay. Oh, uh, well, there's another peasant revolt anyways. Uh, what do you want? You want him? Sure. Okay, that's a lot of peasants. So we need this amount of troops down here. Him, and then him. Come on, boys, let's get this going. All right. Now they're going to get an advantage, but that's okay, because it looks like someone else is going in there and taking care of them. Perfect. Indeed. All right, we're at 1474. We can negotiate with someone I don't really care to. More gold, which is good, because we're going to need it when we go to warp. Okay. We are old, which we do need to realize that and be careful of it. You know, um, god damn, a Tangri revolt now? That's great. Um, okay, we're still converting. Where's this one? All the way up here. 2,000 trips, that's fine. That's enough to get over here. I just talked to Jerry about my mom's next appointment. He mentioned Gen Text. Give me a moment, people. I got an interesting text.
<laughs> All right, feel my wrath. Oh, we lost kind. Uh, let's get the 30 piety. And let's put you in the army and then you. Oh, another one. Jesus, people. All right. Attack them. And then where's the other one? I'm going to bet it's over here. Yep. All the way over here, of course. Um, I don't even know if I have any boats to go over here. I mean, we can raise his troops, which is another 1,200. Um, and then you've got 400. And how many troops do you have? All right. Get this lot together over there. Okay. We'll deal with this, and then right after this, we're going to launch a war with the uh, Indian Empire. Okay. Offer peace, yes. There's that one done. Constantly fighting these damn little wars. It's so annoying. Like when you want to go conquest and you keep getting these rebellions. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, the Byzantines just got a piece taken out of them, I think. Uh, what do you want? Um, I'll accept that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if the men can do anything here. Oh, they're not gonna. Uh, no, let's put much better commanders in here, please. And then you. Oh, indulgent merchant. Damn. All right, well, hopefully it gets better. Okay, we don't need any of you guys now. Perfect. That's done. And now we launch the Great Indian War. The Great Conquest of Sistan. Boom. Let it begin. Um, honestly, I think our troops aren't worth enough to do anything about this. So I'm going to send you all down here. All here. Now, we shouldn't have any troops coming. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's more worth our time to actually just siege it straight out. And I think it's definitely worth our time rather than spend it or using our troops to just go and grab um, something more or like something more useful. Because like we can make money with an extra 4,500 Phoenix troops to go down here. So there's no reason not to use them. Now, we could use our 3K later if we need to, but we're still gaining money at this point, so there's no real push for us to jump into this, so let's just use what we have and let our vassals begin the great conquest of Sistan. <laughs> All right, let's bring our troops over here. I don't know where his troops are. Um, he, he's at war with who? Okay, so he's probably... I'm going to take a wild guess and say he's over there. You're not commanding. Do you have any command? Let me see who your commanders are. So there, there's one there. They're all in about the same place, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. So we'll see where they're going. So there's somewhere over here fighting that. Makes sense, though. All right, let's siege this down as quickly as we can, because if we can get this down... And that'll help us out. It's now known as the Repulsive. Oh, good. That's what we want to be known for. All right. Um, now let's focus on our wealth at this point. Um, and instead, we don't really care about... Oof, that's going to hurt. Okay, come on. Move over. Let's go. Let's go. Move. Um, keep learning how to be a warrior. Oh, you're still? Oh, wow, it's 12k. Okay. Split them up. One army there. So you're going to join them. You lot are going to join them. And we'll see what happens. 
Um, no. Come on, go, Jesus. All right. <laughs> it's like, you're going to attrition me. I, I don't like the attrition system in this game, I tell you. It's just a really annoying thing to deal with. And I get it why it's in the game, but ugh, it's just irritating. All right, let's just siege things down for right now because we don't know where his commanders are or where his army is. Well, I don't know yet. I'm going to know in a second. So they're up in the north. So I'm going to guess he's going up here um, and warring with them. So we may get lucky and be able to take this from this guy before he gets in and gets any wiser. Yeah, let's bring these guys over there. Oh, sweet. Wow, we're converting quickly. Okay. Um, oh, I can't move you again. When can I move you next? I can move you next on January 25th. Okay. Plus, remember, we are going for the achievement of Survivor still on this run. So this is uh, part of the run is lasting as long as possible and seeing where we get. So, okay. We are taking this out pretty well. This is all of our army now together. That works for me. And we're making good money still, so... Okay, uh, let's, no, let's uh, go up here, up here, and then here. So let's see, what is Sistan? Is it just, it's just these and then that, okay. So we're almost got it off of him, which is good. 52, all right. We're gonna go, oh shit, nope. Okay. Whew. I, that almost ended up really bad. I didn't want to give him the advantage. Oh, god damn it. Uh, we need our best commanders definitely in this army. Um, and then this army needs to come in here quickly. I mean, this will be a slaughter against them. Um, we'll deal with that later. Oh, we'll take the duchy here. Yeah, usurp that and grant it to him. Grant him land. Boom. He's a Shaw now. Alright, back to what I was doing. We're almost in, boys. Just hold out a little longer. There we go. That's what we like to see. Boom. Perfect. Alright, let's just get up here and siege what's left. Because we already have the uh, high counter now. So, we only need to finish off a few more pieces of territory. And we'll have... Uh, Persia under us. There's a hundred percent. Persian Empire. Make primary. Uh, let's destroy the old one. Because the Empire of Delam doesn't actually need to exist. Restore the priesthood. Now we've just got to get this. Return of the High Priest after an interlude lasting a few centuries. Following the Arab conquest, Zoroastrianism has returned as a state uh, as a state religion of Persia. Shahan Shah da Jahangar Jahangir has ordered the reinstitution of the office of the Mobadin Mobad or the priests of priest or priest of priests. The Mo Mobadin Mobad. Um, will serve as the highest religious authority in the Zoroastrian world. All right. With powers ranging from blessings, uh, a blessing of future military expeditions to granting divorces to married couples. Rejoice. We've done what we needed to. Um, we need more piety to create that, but that's okay. Now, I could demand your religious conversion, but we'll slowly convert you lot. I did get a territory. I just saw that I thought I got something here. Because saying I have one piece of territory too many. Oh, I got Kolat. Okay. Uh, we'll grant this to my secondary heir. You can have Kolat. Now, we are going to continue our education. We do need to build up our own troops again, but for right now, it's nice that we finally have that. 
The Immortals, some Persia's finest warriors, have taken um, have taken it upon themselves to found a new holy order dedicated to safeguarding the Manchian faith. They call themselves the Immortals, just like the ancient Persian warriors elite described by Herodotus, and they seem intent on carrying the martial traditions of their legendary predecessors. This militant holy order has sworn to fight against all who would uh, who would threaten the legacy of Zoroaster, uh, or Zoroaster, and to never allow the Zoroastrianism to suffer the reverse it did in the wake of the Arab conquest of the seventh seventh century. Sweet. So we now wait. Is that a holy order? No, it isn't. Okay, I, get, I don't know what they technically count as, but all right. We have a bunch of people we can get rid of here. Let's just do that. And then we just need a few more, and then we can get the achievement. And then we need 1,500 piety. All right. So we need to save up our piety for one of these. Um, decline all of you. Yeah, I don't really have an interest in any of you marrying my daughter here. Yep, that's fine. Let's get more. Let's build ourselves up. Uh, we're closer. We are definitely... Oh! Okay. Men are called to arms against the old arch enemy. Mouthpiece of Ahamian, uh, and all his works must be... Uh, okay. Uh, there's a holy war. We will offer to join. Okay. So what are we holy warring for? Um, so the Sultan of Arabia. Okay, so we're taking all of this from him, I assume. Who's... Oh, it's him. Okay. So we need to go over there. Alright. Well, gather the vassals. Gather the armies, and let's, um... Come on down here, and see where we end up. Alright, make sure there's no one else coming to this cow... Yep, we're okay now. I mean, we need piety anyways, so that's fine by me. <laughs> but we're going to Arabia, boys. It is time. How many men does this guy actually have? He has 11k, so he's actually pretty tough. I mean, it's not god-awful, but it's going to be a little rough. Now, it said that we had the... Was it a group I can join? The Immortals? No. So... Yeah, I didn't see a holy order, but it said the Immortals had been founded, so. Let's continue to convert these territories the best we can. And we are waiting for the piety. We're going to need that um, in this holy war. Um, whoever does the most here is going to get the territory, so. Let's uh, see where we can end up here. Let's start marching down south. Maybe we can catch him by surprise. Um, okay, let's keep getting our men, our, our daughters educated as well we, as we can. And see where we end up. Ooh, that's a lot of men coming down here. Okay, we need to establish a foothold here as quickly as possible. Uh, we're hurting though for, because our men are getting eaten up right now. I don't know where his army went, but that's okay. All right, now that we've... Oh, nope. Retreat, head back. Fall back. We need to come back together. Oh, where is he going? Oh, is he heading down south? Oh, that bastard. All right, send the army down here. I'm going to come after him. I've got a plan. i got a plan, boys. We're going to attack his army. Uh, so far, we're leading the way, and the Mono land, Mount of Lands held, so let's just get all of it. Wait, where are you going? Are you warring down here? Are you guys at war with each other? Wait. No? Okay. Well, I thought you were. And I thought that's what you were doing, but I guess not. Okay, well, let's get back up here then. Alright, let's do this. Let's go up here and... Fall back into our area. Uh, we need a new court physician. That's fine. Let's get you in charge of that. It's nice that we finally have a um, 
religious leader. So that'll make us a lot stronger overall. Ooh, whoa, what? Oh yeah, how's our brother doing? He is old as dirt at this point. I could offer him vassalization, but he's not going to take it. Wait, where are you going now? Are you going to come over here? Oh no, you're fighting him. Okay. Time to head down. We're just going to go uh, like siege everything. There's no reason not to. That's not enough gold. We have lots of gold, by the way. Alright, let's uh, yeah head down here as quickly as possible. We convert another territory. That's what I like to see. We're doing well on our conversions now, which is good. Italy's being crusaded for, which honestly, I'm not mad about. Because if it can get rid of the chance of us inheriting Italy, I'm not ready to take Italy. Like, no joke. That That's just a bad situation for us at this point. So, alright, um, should I lead? Okay, I know I don't normally lead troops, but do I get anything if I do come in here? Um, like a trait for this? Yes! Gon Shahanash. I like that. That's a nice little extra thing. Alright, and then we're going to go back to unleading <laughs> armies. Because uh, we really don't want to be leading at this point. Let's put you in here. Uh, so, we're going for Arabia. So, Arabia is all of this. So, let's just keep conquesting through his territories. And we've got plenty of gold in case we need it. Um, he is sieging... Someone is sieging something, but they're just um, rebellions. And he is going back south, so he's not coming after my territories. Works for me. Alright. We'll just keep sieging him down, then. Best we can. What's going on, Fenny boy? How you doing? We are no longer the Ke the Emperor of Karen, by the way. We are now the Emperor of Persia, which is still known as the Karen Empire, because <laughs> that's just how it works. <laughs> but we reformed the uh, Zoroastrian faith, so you know that's all going well. Uh, yeah. Karen Empire sounds like a funny name, right? But, hey, it works. Oh, God, I got another text message. Let me check. And then while we are down one course, she can carry the jet. All right. We're currently going through and taking up uh, arms against everyone. Beating the living crap out of all these guys. We're in a holy war right now for Arabia, which has been great. And we're just destroying this guy. So, we're just going to keep doing that, basically. <laughs> and then hopefully what the goal... Uh, well, today, maybe uh, next stream, we'll be able to have gained uh, the Persian um, achievement. Because we still haven't gotten it yet. And we are running low on our manpower, so we will have to be careful. Yes! And next up to rule will be a great Fenny boy. Uh, let's see, his, our next heir is, uh, Manu Chihir, who, I'm, he married his wife, or his sister, which will hopefully keep us doing well, um, overall with him, we'll see, uh, go to, oh, it's just a raid, that's not a big issue, alright, let's go back to our thing, we're, we have a lot of gold at this point, boys, we really do, uh, I'm not gonna lie here. And I'm just trying to finish this war out at this point. I don't really, like, we're almost there. So it's just, eh. Yo, DJ, hello, thank you for the host, buddy. I appreciate it. How you doing? How you been? Ooh, that's a 10k army down there. That is going to be a hefty fight for whoever goes down there. Let's see, are you going to go down there? Oh, that'd be nice if you would. All right, we've gained more territory here. Oh, you are going to come after me, aren't you? I have a feeling he's about to. Doing great, just eating some pizza. Oof, I miss pizza. Sounds so good right now. All right, this guy's got a 10k army stack. I'm curious if he's going to come after me here. Don't you run away. Why are you running? Why are you running away, you bastard? 
we need to all right i want to get down here so but i don't want him running into me okay we're all right now we're gonna retake this back why are you running basically yes exactly he has 10k men he could have beat me easily i don't know why he ran all the way down there uh and i don't know why these a-holes are hiding up here and not coming and helping me all right let's retake this territory again and hopefully bump this up. I haven't had pizza in three months. You could imagine how much I craved it. Man, I feel the same right now. I've been really wanting to get some round table pizza. I haven't had that in ages, and it just sounds so good. All right, let's uh, go down here. Oh, man. You know, it's just one of those days. Oh, wait, what? We won? Oh, good. We gained all this territory for ourselves. All right. We are now... There's even more Karen. Um, so did I get the Kingdom of Arabia? I think we're... Okay, we're going to usurp you. Usurp you. Do I have the Kingdom of Arabia? I do not. But that's okay. We apparently have this that we have to create. We've gained so much piety. I didn't expect that. We're going to grant that to my son. He's going to become the King of Sistan. Enjoy. Uh, and then we have to give up some territories here. A lot of territory. Holy hell. Look at that. Our first crusade, boys. And we won. We won our first crusade as the true Zoroastrians. Beating back the Arabian empires. Ah, oh, it feels good. Feels good. We will restore the old faith down here. As soon as we can. Let's get rid of a lot of these, though. Man, yeah, no, pizza sounds great right now. I've got, I've got to wait till grad, or I get officially graduated. By the way, guys, so I mentioned I was taking that test yesterday, which is why I didn't stream. For those wondering why there was no SPQR stream, it was a six-hour test. No joke, six hours. Oh, that took flipping forever. It was so bad. What is this? I still have like 15 territories that I'm not supposed to have. All right, so we have a few territories. Um, we're going to grant them to our youngest sons. Yeah, yeah, six hours. It was so flipping bad. I uh, I was done by, I was truly, truly done by the end of that damn um, test. And I can't even say I got 100%. I didn't answer all the questions. We didn't have enough time. Yeah, it was. And he's one of those teachers that's just like that, you know. He uh, makes things completely way too difficult for no reason. Uh, do I have a better commander than you? I have a 33 here. Cool. Uh, it was just, yeah, it was bad, guys. Honestly, that's uh, that's all I can really say is it was, it was bad. So, yeah, um, went through it. Three, uh, six hours. Uh, I couldn't finish it because there just wasn't enough time. And due to that factor, um, I'm hoping, beyond hope, that I at least got 50 points on it out of the 100. If I did, I've passed the class with a C. That's all I care about. I just need a C in this class to graduate. I do not care otherwise about it. Um, and so, yeah, it's like that bad. I might be able to get a new computer just before CK3. Nice. That's awesome. Happy to hear. <sighs> Oh, also, good news on the job interview, by the way, guys. Um, so, um, the interview went fantastic. I think I talked about this a bit last week. Um, like, really, really well. And because of that factor, um, we also ha we got an email, uh, or I got an email, I should say, that basically told me from the recruiter, you are one of our finalists, you did an amazing job, we really enjoyed talking with you, and look forward to working uh, to... Uh, or look forward to us talking to you in the future. So, by the end of this week, we should know whether or not we're going to have uh, the job that we got. Oh, you weren't here last week? Uh, so, it's a job interview with this medical research company that I've been really wanting to get on. I'm not going to say any names, of course. I'll wait till after I've gotten the job. But, yeah, I'm ecstatic. If all goes well, I'll be working from home, as they said. Um, so, I won't have to worry about that. And yeah, it's just, it's turning, looking amazing guys. So I'll be able to work from home. The only thing is I'm probably going to have to move from Oregon 
uh, up to Washington, which is fine. I'm no big deal on that one. Um, it's only, you know, a bit of a difference. So I'm completely excited, but thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, I think we did a really good job. We've done really well. I'm ecstatic that everything's going to well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't tell me I actually got depressed. God damn it. But yeah, so everything's going really well. If I grad, if I get this graduation, like I expect, and the test was at least a 50 points, which I think I got it. I should be fine. I think I got around 64 points, so that should put me at somewhere around like a 76 or something like that. We hope. We're, we're, we're hoping here, guys. We're really hoping here. I don't know if this is points-based. Um, if this is, uh, if it's going to be the percentage-based, we'll see. Either way, though, I just need that, sev uh, that at least 70% and I'm happy. And this is a teacher who's notorious for being, uh, for failing students. So it's like, oh, man, we're going to see how things go. But, yeah, that's that's the hope is that everything goes well. We get the graduation um, and we don't have to worry about anything from there on. So fingers crossed for me, guys. Fingers crossed for me. I also have a paper that we're currently uh, going to turn in, but honestly, I think we're that's an ace in the hole. To be honest, it's so it was we did really well on our pre our pre one, and so I'm not too concerned about the overall. So, yeah, just gotta get this stuff going and hopefully or hope for the best. Seriously, you're raiding me? God damn it! Why does everyone raid me? But yeah, and now we're doing well in this playthrough. So, but yes, that was why I wasn't here yesterday. Why I wasn't streaming is because I was studying. And even though it was an open book, open note test, that test still kicked me in the ass. Honestly, it was so bad. So, I wasn't even originally planning to stream today, but, well, you know, I got bored and needed something to do. Tomorrow I'm going to have to clean, so I figure, you know, let's stream in the morning, have some fun, and uh, see how things go. But yeah, we now hold... All of Karen. We are the Emperor of Karen overall. <laughs> oh, man. And we're doing well in our territories. All of them are boosting up. We're making money. We're now making 37 gold. And at this point, the only thing we have left... Oh, I need to... Let me banish some people. Alright. And then the rest will just execute. Oh, no, we won't. Um, the only thing we need to do left, other than donate to the Immortals, um, is this. So we need, we still need Basara, uh, we still need Mosul, Jazeera, and Aza Bahia, as well as Jabal and Faragana. So basically, we need these territories in here, and then we need to take, uh, the rest of Mosul here, and then I think... Jazeera, yeah, that's going to suck. So we do have to take Jazeera from the Byzantines. But we shouldn't have to take anything left over here. I've mostly been playing Civ Six recently since it was free on Epic. Ooh, good game. Good game. Fun time. Wait, who are you? Captain Dorje Bonpa, a band? Okay. I don't know. Uh, so we don't need to conquer anything over here now into India. We just need these pieces of territory. It looks like my vassals are warring with them. So the big thing at this point is definitely be going to be going... Ooh, there are the immortals right there. We're going to donate another... Th oh, we can't donate any more gold. Why not? Oh, I can't donate. And let yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's Civ 6 is a fun game. Uh, me and Trin were, uh, are talking about doing a playthrough on it. So who are you at war with? Kagan. Okay, so he is over here. We don't want to attack him while he's over here. Uh, I kind of became better than any uh, than my more experienced Civ Six friends in multiplayer. Now they say I cheat. <laughs> That's always a fun time. That's why the guys won't play Stellaris with me. So I know that feeling. Although I don't play uh, Civ Six with Trend very often because he gets uh, he gets mobbed by barbarians and quits, which you can't blame him. But yeah, and it happened once so bad we just didn't play again after that. So I feel that man. I feel that though. Uh, let's get noble customs all the way up. Um, castle infrastructure, and then let's do infantry. Perfect. Oh, we gained a rash. No, how many men do we have in our personal vendor? Oh, that's actually not bad for the fact that we have no military. 
Immortals are off doing something. Oh, they're... Fi Why are you fighting him? Huh. Interesting. Wait, are you a Zoroastrian? You are. Wow, okay. Um, gee, yeah, I like 10 barbs near my capital yesterday. It was bad, but thankfully I had money. Yeah, that helps. Cash is always a good way to solve your problems in that game. <laughs> good way to do everything. Oh, uh, man, I can't believe we've managed to do go this long. By the way, whatever happened to... Oh, is he still fighting that crusade against him? Jesus. King Tren the Great is still holding on on his own, and he still hasn't had a secondary son? Wow. Uh, we have gained another kingdom. Kingdom of Oghuz. So I'm going to grant that to you. Congrats, buddy. You are now the king of Oghuz. Uh, and we've gained great pox. Okay. Please cure me. Oh, good. Now we're one-handed. That's, that's great. <laughs> oh, man. I also got Ironclad's uh, Armada from a Great Admiral. I'm in the Classical Era. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that is just mean and trolly, man. That is great. Oh, yes. Oh, no. He finally did die. Okay. Shahan Shah Jahangir has ascended to heaven at age 58. He died succumbing to severe injuries. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of Ahura Mazda against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Shahan Shah Ma Manu Chihir, uh, being a man willing to wait for a plan to come together, we expect a great change to come in the realm. Albeit slowly, long live Shahan Shah Manu Chihir. Alright, we have come to power. As a young 23-year-old, we must become exalted among men. We need to be a better merchant, much better merchant. Um, God, we are bad. And let's see, perform a sky burial, as is normal. We'll donate to the Holy Order. Excellent. We'll hold. Oh, we can't do that yet, but that's okay. We need a new marshal. That skill set. Yeah, it's bad. I know. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I realize it. Um, let's go ahead and put you in charge. Let's go back to converting a lot of these territories. He'll get better. You know, it just takes a little time. He's also kind of fat, which is a problem. Oh, please gain brave. Yes, brave and ambitious. Okay, that's a little bit better. We're getting there, boys. We're going to work our way back up. I mean, if we could get rid of Slothful, that'd be nice. Um, and then build up our, you know... Merchant abilities, that'd help. Uh, hey, we're making more gold than we were. Uh, at least we have that. Uh, let's get the castle town built up some more. Uh, in this case, let's build up our militia. Um, more barracks. Uh, still more barracks. And then for our last one, let's do castle fortifications. We'll be all right. We've dealt with worse, guys. We've had worse emperors. But we do need to let our vassals clean up some wars around here um, with them uh, doing what they're doing. So that's basically what we're going to do for this character is let him kind of sit back and let our emperors um, do what they need. Going after the Byzantines is going to take a lot, so we want to make sure we have a really good character. Have you seen the, more of the CK3 Dyers? I have. I've been watching a lot of them. It looks interesting. Um... Oh god, it just started pouring again. Uh, I'm I will be curious to see how the game comes out. Uh... Alright. We'll see, though. I, I look forward to when it comes out. It is definitely something I'm going to purchase. I don't know if I want to pre-purchase it, though, because I'm still worried about the whole, whole Imperador situation happening again. I will never again pre-purchase a, a game from Paradox because of that. Because I feel Imperador just got tossed in the trash can. And I'm still mad about that. So, hey man, each their own. Each their own. I mean, if you want to, I mean, that's all good. I'm definitely not worried first time pre-ordering from them. Yeah, no. I uh, I learned the hard way. Never again. Uh, we need a new advisor. Shah of Iraq is fine. 
I should develop this guy. He needs a better... You know what? Let's build up your territory, man. You need to get yourself into the feudal age. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, when it gets closer, we'll see if I uh, find something of interest on that one. Uh, yeah, we'll create that duchy and whoever has it. Oh my god, another conquest. Jesus, lady. Calm it down. Uh, we do have another duchy under us that I did not want. Um, yeah, you need to peace with, yeah. Peace with this person, please. Uh, sure. 94 gold, that's fine. Grant land, uh, there. There you go, buddy. Because he's good at his job, so let's not mess with him. Uh, but we're conquering a lot more territory here. So at this point, the main thing looks like we're only missing a few more. Uh, first ever pre-order in general, too. I'm usually the one with the, who waits review stuff, but the dev diaries kind of confirmed to me that it will be each rich. I mean, they said the same thing with Imperador, and that's my main issue. I, uh... I just can't not again uh, that's my big issue never again will I uh, look at that or will I pre-order okay so they're doing the pre-order for or they're fighting Jabal um, where's this rebellion happening how many men do you have not nearly enough how many men do you oh that's my men what about you uh, you have 1455 let's get you as well and bring you both over here We'll see, though. I mean, it could turn out really well. I'm hoping for the best. Um, but, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till probably, like, mid-September before I pre-order, or right before it, and I'll pre-order it, just to see um, what other features they're talking about. And once I get to see some actual gameplay, that'll make it a little more worth my time. So, that's kind of my opinion, um, at least for the time being. Come here, damn it. Uh, most rice, the immortals need more castles in our train to generate, uh, it was coming to my attention that there is a suitable location in, uh, your demands in Gurgan. To be specific, I am willing to pay a hundred gold in exchange for the rights to build a fortress there. Yes! That's fine. I think the main problem for Imperator was the mana system they had and the fact that it was basically EU4 light. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. Um. I... I just can't get into it, though. I've tried so hard, and I'm still very upset about how it came out. Uh, let's continue to up upgrade our main territories at this point. So we need a lot more manpower before we go butting heads with the Byzantine Empire. Um, that's at least my current thinking. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, we are uh, when September comes... Um, or right before, because I can't remember the exact date. I think it's like, I know it's in September. I just can't remember what it was. I'll probably go based on a week before and go read through all the current dev diaries and watch a lot of the gameplay things. Imperador caught my attention. Oh, is it first September? Okay. So it'll probably be in August when I take a look. And then I'll decide if I'm going to pre-order or not. Oh, wow. We've finally taken all of Jabal. So that helps. Now we just need Taberstan, Basra... Mosul, uh, Jazira. Okay, so there's some areas where we've got probably, it looks like some vassal or people that we shouldn't have. So let's start looking up these titles here. Uh, find title or region. Okay. So let's start with Taberstan. Oops. Can I, fuck, and god damn it. I was trying to see. Tab. Uh, Satrapy of Taberstan. So we do hold it. But there must be a holding somewhere in here that's someone else's. Oh, it's them. Yeah, because of that. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to vassalize them. Damn it. That's a problem. Okay. That's fine. What's another one? Basra. Let's look up that one. Oop, nope, not what I want. Boss. Alright. So... We hold that, we hold that, and we hold that. Is this all Basra? That's the Dejour, so what's the problem? Um, 
Yeah, you're a vassal. Am I missing something here? You're under us, yeah. This is all of Basra. No, this is part of that, so... What am I not holding under Basra? Oh, here it is. Okay. So there's a territory here that I need to take. Okay, from the Arabian Empire. Alright, let's do that. Um, should be just holdings down here. So we do have a couple of holdings in here that we need to take. You'll have the Umayyad, but that's fine. I just want that. Um, before we do any other things, though, I want to look to see where else we need it. Uh, Mosul. Do you have a merchant republic as a vassal? Probably. Somewhere. Uh, Alright, let's look at this. Okay, so we don't hold all of Mosul because we don't hold this territory. Um... It might be worthwhile just going to war for him, with him over Mosul. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to do a couple wars here. Uh, we know where Jazeera is. Azerbahin. Give me a moment. Azerbahin. Okay. What do we not control in here? Oh, another piece of the Byzantines. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have another piece of the Byzantines we're going to have to take off. And the last one is Samarkand. Um, some All right, let me look. Oops, not what I want. Not what I want. Some, uh, come on. Uh, there. Wait, was it this? No, it wasn't. Oh, God damn it. What is it? Uh,. Samarkand. I always hit the wrong flipping tab. It'd be nice to get rid of some of these tabs I don't want. Come on, stop lagging. There it is. Alright. So we hold the whole thing. I'm just. Oh, it's right here. Who are you? Ah, uh, the Immortals. Damn, man. I've got to. I don't want to have to declare war on them. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have a choice, though, because we have to. Yeah, we need those territories. Okay. Um, Give me a moment. I got a text message. Okay, no worries. Sorry, guys. I'm like trying to answer a million and one texts today. Um, is this a good time to strike the Byzantines at the same time? Do we take them on? I don't think it'd be a terrible idea. So we can get that territory. We do need Jazeera. So I think let's take Jazeera because it's right there. Gather the army um, together. Oh, are you going to attack me? Okay, let's go over here then. Let's uh, gather the entirety of the army the best we can. Oops, come here. Nope, god damn it. I've got this in window mode, so it's like I can't actually like easily click things. Okay, you there. You lot, come over here. And then there's a six somewhere that's going there. That's fine. I don't know where my army of six is, but. Okay. Let's put you here and take our best commanders and put them in charge. Oh, that guy's a craven. Let me switch him out with someone better. There we go. Okay. We may not win that fight. Yep. God damn it. All right. That was a dumb idea. Why are we doing this? I don't know. Everyone come here. Ah, uh, right when I think I can just beat the hell out of everyone at this point, and it's like, nope, you gotta remember you can't. All right, we've gained that religiously, which is nice. We're so close to getting this achievement that I can taste it. 
What kind of concubine can I send you? You want her? She's all yours, buddy. I don't care. Keeps you happy. Request a peace deal. Thank you. One of the Karens has left. Alright. Now let's go and attack him. Or at least get down here. Alright, gather the army. It'd be nice if I could literally just click all the army and bring them over here. But it never seems to work that way. You go there. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care at this point. Just stop giving me decisions to make. I'm trying to kill something. I want to focus on this achievement now. God damn it. Alright, now let's go in. Oh shit, I may have made the wrong decision. I didn't realize he had to go through two territories. Nope, stop. Now we go in. Alright, support the main army. Support the main army. There we go. And let's just siege this down. God, it's pouring so hard out there right now. Alright, we've taken that. Let's focus now on just kind of taking a few more territories off of him. Honestly, if he would just accept peace, it'd be so much easier to deal with. But I understand he's not going to. So we're just going to have to kind of force siege him down as quickly as possible. We lost our chancellor, who is going to be our top king. That's fine. Designated regent shall be you. 43%. If you would just... Re okay, come on. Just give up. I get it. There's someone you want to marry. Can you guys leave me alone? God damn. All right, get our best commanders in here again. Hopefully, oh, you're also Craven, damn it. Why are all my best commanders always Cravens? <laughs> CK2 in a nutshell, people. All right, are you willing to take peace? No, of course not. It's for one holding, man. Oh, good, rebellions, that's what I need right now. Uh, I've gotten fat. What's ex that was nor that was to be expected. I'm not a warrior. I'm a man who sits back and earns coin. I enjoy the finer things in life. 79, 88. Come on. 96. One more. 100 percent. Thank you. Offer you peace. Bye. See, it was that easy, buddy. Now let's go up here and take this. Who is it you all want to marry so badly? My half-sister. Can I send her off, please? Um, Send the Jewish dude, because I don't need him. Uh, I'm going to marry her off to someone else, because it's irritating me that some everyone wants to marry her. Uh, you. Sure. Boom! Perfect. <laughs> I aim to please. Yeah, sure I do. Oh, good. Now we got Tangri Rebellions. Can you, like, can my vassals handle the, a single rebellion? Like, seriously? Takes two minutes, boys. Go do your jobs. Alright, let's set you down there. Okay, let's do what we've got to do. I, oh god, damn it, vassals! Vassals, just go kill the rebellions, please, at any time. Okay. Oh my god, sixty-five days. Wow, that went. Okay, that went to six. There we go. I am not dealing with this. These rebellions right now. Where are you? You're all the way down. Why are you down there? And why isn't he dealing with you? I don't even know who you are. Oh, you're the Shah of Iraq. Okay. <sighs> I just want to win my wars. I don't want to deal with rebellions right now. I've got other things to do. Someone else, deal with them. You have troops of your own. Go deal with the rebellions in your territories. Okay. That's 58. 
Is this one territory? Oh, this is two. Oh, okay, so that's why. Perfect. We'll go and hit this at the same time. How goes your war right now? 22%. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to attack this. Oh, good. They did take care of one of them. Perfect. All right, and then let's knock this down. 23. We have a ticking war score on the other guy, too, which is nice. So that's why I'm just kind of focusing on sieging this down. We kill this guy's army real quick. That should allow us to basically... Yeah, well, do you want peace now? Nope. Okay, well, then we're going to sit here and be a problem. Uh, yeah, be ambitious. I don't care. Um, what's going on? I need a new designated regent. I'm, like, so focused now trying to finish this war off. I just don't care about anything else that's going on at this point. All right. Ticking war score with you. You don't want to offer, though. Uh, we're going to attack this real quick and see if that helps. Hopefully they aren't. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Uh, okay. Three, two. Come on. Load. Hurry up. I just want to take this and I'm done. 84. We're almost there. Fuck. This is not what we need right now. God damn it, retreat. Fuck. Wait. <sighs> almost. They're almost willing to offer peace to us. I just need a few more seconds. God damn it. Just take the peace. I'm in the middle of dealing with too many things. God damn it. Okay. We can get over here. Come on. Just go. Just go. Go, 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 go. There you go. Offer peace. No. So am I capped at 99 now? Is that the issue? Oh, because I haven't won a major battle. Fuck you. Okay. We got to go try and hunt these guys down the best we can. I don't know if I need to win, still win a major battle or if I can just... Um... trying to think here what I can do all right let's hit this because I assume you're not going to take an offer no not yet and it's capped again yeah has not won a major battle okay hopefully we don't get smacked again I'm almost there it's like I can taste it what oh, okay it's up there I don't care all right we could just fight you Let's do that. Come on, boys. Get down there and kill them. There we go. That's what I pay you for. What? That doesn't count as a major battle? Are you serious? Fucking game. Man. If I lose this stupid uprising thing, it's because of this asshole. I don't care what you do. Just take peace. Please. For the love of God. Alright. Well, let's go beat this guy down. Maybe that'll count as a major victory with one of you assholes. Um, debase the mint. All right, I'm going to hire Merce. Oh, we can hire a Holy Order. Uh, that's right, because these are Holy Wars, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that. You, go up here. And then I'm going to hire a mercenary group. How many rebe rebels do we have down here at this point? Okay, that's a fuck ton. Great. Does that count as a major battle? No, of course not. Assholes. I just want this war to end. That's all. I'm just trying to get this war to end. One of you just needs to end. Alright, let's deal with this real quick. Oh my god, that still doesn't count as a major battle. Okay. Okay, game. 
Mm. Okay, there we go. All right. That just popped for some reason. Can you not, like, right now? That'd be great. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let's give up these territories to someone. I don't care who. Uh, and you've already got that piece. So I'm going to grant you that. Now, the only thing standing between me and this is basically the holy order that's in my empire. Which is a problem. Well, shoot. All right, boys. Well, that's the end of today's stream. I'll figure it out next time. Thank you all for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed, and see you tomorrow.